Hello students, let's learn how to uh, solve rational exponent equations. First of all, we're going to review the rule of exponents. Okay, so first, what is exponent? Exponents are also called power. The, and the exponent of a number says how many times to use a number in multiplication. For example, if you have a to the power 2, means a times a two times. So that would equivalent to 64. Next, if you multiply 2 a bunch of times right here, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, time 2, 5 times, then we're going to write number 2 and then the little 5 on top. The big number right here is called the base, okay? And the smaller number on top is called the exponent or the power. First rule of exponents uh, laws is going to be about the zero exponent rule. A to the power of zero equals one. This say that anything raised to the power of zero is one. We're going to take a look at some example. Three to the power of zero, five x to the power of three, y to the power of four, everything raised to the power of zero. Okay, first one, anything raised to the power of zero is one. Second thing, anything raised to the power of zero or the zero power is one. Next, we have the power rules or power to powers. A to the power of m, everything raised to the power of n. Then we're going to have a to the power of m times n. So to raise a power to a power, you need to multiply the exponents. We are going to take a look at three examples. X to the power of 5, everything raised to the power of 4. So what it says right here is the x to the power of 5 repeat four times, right? So that's going to equal to x to the power of 20. For the second part, we also do the same thing. Everything inside the parentheses is raised to the power of 3, which means it's multiplied by itself three times. So 2 to the power of 3 give us 8. x to the power of 4 raised to the power of 3, that will give us 4 times 3 is 12. And then y to the power of 3 times 3 is y to the power of 9. Last, let us take a look at one that have the fraction. Okay? So supposedly you have x to the power of 2 thirds raised to the power of 5 over 2. Then right here, you're going to multiply the exponent, right? So you're going to have 2 times 5 over 3 times 2. Well, right here, the 2 and the 2 can be canceled out, yeah? So we're going to have uh, 5 over 3. So x to the power of 5 over 3. <laughs> okay, let us take a look at the next rule. This is called the product rule. Product means multiplication, right? So here we have a to the power of m times a to the power of n equals a to the power of m plus n. Okay, so if you multiply two exponents with the same base, you will keep the base and add the powers. So that's mean for the first example, if we have x times x to the power of 5, now x alone is go always going to have the power of 1. Okay, so we have x to the power of 1 plus 5, that will give us x to the power of 6. What about the y? Well, any variable as long as they have the same base that you multiply together um, so you're going to keep the y the same and then add 9 plus 4 y to the power of 13 okay next we have the quotient rule quotient rule is quotient mean dividing okay so if you have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n all you have to do is you keep the same base and then you subtract m minus n. Okay, so keep the base the same and then subtract the powers. Let's take a look at some example. x to the power of 5 over x to the power of 3 equals and then y to the power of 4 divided by y to the power of 9. So on the first example, we have x to the power of 2 because you subtract 5 minus 3, you're going to get 2, right? And for the second example, well, when you subtract 4 with 9, you're going to get negative 5. However, 
we don't want a negative on the power. Um, we can take a look at this one. It has four on the top and nine on the bottom on the denominator. So if the denominator have more um, power, then the final answer, the remaining is gonna be on the bottom, okay, on the denominator. So you're gonna have one over y to the power of five. For the next part, we are going to take a look at how to solve rational exponents equations. Example 1. So suppose you have this one, 3 parentheses 3x minus 4, everything raised to the 1 third equals 2. Alright, so for this one, we are going to go ahead and make sure that we follow, um, we always, always want to isolate. Okay, isolate the one inside. So these two, we isolate, we try to make them uh, by itself, right? So step one, you are going to get rid or eliminate the one third. So in order to eliminate the one third, all you have to do is to multiply by the reciprocal, okay? By opposite of one third. So one third, it can equal to one or eliminate if you multiply by 3 over 1, okay? When you multiply by the reciprocal, it will cancel out this. It will 1 over 1, it will become 1. So we cannot have no exponent, which is what we want, okay? So on this one, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, which means the 3 over 1. So multiply that time. 3 over 1. Now, whatever you do to the left, you got to do the same to the right. So, raise it to the power of 3. Now, power of 3 is the same thing as 3 over 1. Okay? So, we're not going to write a 3 over 1 anymore. We're just going to write a 3 like that. And remember, we're doing multiplication on the left. So, right now, this one, 1 third of 3, that will be equal to 1. So, our next step, we are going to have right here is 3x minus 4 equals 2 to the power of 3 is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2, 3 times. So that equivalent to 8. Now our step 2 is going to be to solving for this, right? We need to solve for x. So we are going to isolate the 3x first. So we add 4 both sides. So this one will cancel out, it will equivalent to zero. So we have 3x equals a plus 4 is 12. Okay, next we are going to go ahead and divide both sides by 3 so that we can solve for x. When you divide 3x by 3, you get 1x. So in other words, we get x equals 12 divided by 3. Okay, that's going to equal to 4. So we have x equals 4. When you plug in right here for 4, it's going to become 3 times 4. That's 12, right? And then you subtract 4, that's 8. And then if you take the 1 third of 8, 1 third, the power, 1 third of 8, is the same thing as 2, okay? So when you check your answer, you can just plug back into the original equation and then see if it's true. All right, so let's take a look at a few more examples. The first one, we have two parentheses, x plus three, everything raised to the power of two thirds. So remember earlier we talked about to isolate the everything inside the parentheses, right? To isolate this part right here. So first off, we are going to get rid of the 2. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2. Divide both sides by 2, we get 2 over 2 is 1. So we have 54 over 2. We got parentheses x minus 3 to the power of 2 thirds equals to 27. Then we need to get rid of the 3 over 2, right? We're going to get rid of 2 of 3 over 2. So we need to multiply by the reciprocal of that fraction, which is 2 over 3. So you raise both of the equation to the power of 2 over 3. 
okay? So 2 over 3, 2 over 2 will be 1, 3 over 3, that will equal to 1. In other words, we have 6 over 6, everything is equal to 1. So we're just going to have x plus 3 on the left. We have isolated already. On the right, you can use a calculator for this one, 27 to the power of 2 thirds, okay? 27 to the power of 2 thirds. That will give us 9. So we have x plus 3 equals 9. And now, oh, to isolate for x, one easy step. You just subtract 3 both sides. We're going to have 9 minus 3 is 6. All right, so there we go. One more example. Here we have 5 to the power of 4 over 3 equals to 4x plus 7. Everything raised to the power of 2 thirds. Alright, so this example a little bit um, uh, tough. Yeah, because we have the fraction on both sides. So don't you worry, don't you worry. Okay, you always, always want to isolate the part that have the um, parentheses, the variable. Okay, the side that have the variable. So we want to isolate this part right here. So therefore, we are going to get rid of, yes, the exponent. So the exponent of 2 thirds, in order to get rid of the 2 thirds, we are going to go ahead and make sure that we multiply that by the reciprocal, right? So reciprocal of 2 thirds is 3 over 2. So you raise both of them to the power of 3 over 2. Same thing over here, you're going to multiply by 3 over 2. Okay, multiply by 3 over 2. This one, it will become 4 over 2. 4 over 2 is, is 2. So 5 to the power of 2. Equals on the right side because we already multiplied by the reciprocal. So everything will be equal to 1. This one cancel out. So we're going to have 4x plus 7. Okay, so now all we have to do is to um, rewrite the 5 over 2. 5 to the power of 2 is 25 equals 4x plus 7. Subtract both sides with 7 by 7. We're going to have 18 equals to 4x. Right. So now we divide both sides by 4 to get x alone. We're going to have x equals 18 over 4. However, 18 over 4 can be simplified. We always try to simplify in the fraction, okay? So divide each of them by 2. Divide each of them by 2. We're going to have x equals 9 over 2 or 4.5. Okay? So that is how you solve uh, equation with rational exponents or the exponent is fraction. So on the next slide, you are going to see another example right here. So step one is we want to isolate this part. So you subtract A both sides. You have 729 on the right side. On the left side, you have 3x to the power 5 over 7. Then you want to get rid of the 3. Right? We want to isolate the x. So divide both sides by 3, you're going to get 243 on the right side. And here we go, we have x alone. Oh, but the x is raised to the power of 5 over 7. So we know the reciprocal of 5 over 7 is going to equal to 7 over 5. Okay, so when you multiply like that, you cancel out, cancel out. This one also become 1, so we have x alone, or x to the power of 1. And then on the right, we have 243 raised to the 7 over 5. And that, you can put in the calculator, okay? 243 raised to the power of 7 over 5, you're going to get 2,187. All right, thank you for listening and watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something new, and I will see you again next time. Bye!